Hi guys, welcome. How are you? Um, I hope you're having a great day. And if you're not, that's okay. Don't worry. Just grab your supplies and play around with me or just watch me finishing this memory keeping journal. I'm so excited. This is the last month of this Obonichi AVEC because it's uh, in half, the whole year in half. So the first six months are done and believe it or not, I'm finishing it right now. You see me finishing it and it's so very exciting. Um, uh, what I, I, I'm probably going to do a flip through of the old thing and I already started the new half that starts in July. So I'm super excited. Uh, quick, quick note about what I'm doing right now. We went to a Greek fest with some uh, friends. It was super nice. I go there every single year. I had to skip two years because of stupid COVID. And so it was so nice to be back in the street and eat this delicious Greek food. It was super fun. Um, here, I'm just so touching like some paper from a candy that I think I got in the office that it was very nice and I just kept the, the paper, the wrapping paper. So I was like, this is perfect to attach it in my journal. Um, this is my cat that is destroying everything. It is like an earthquake. It just goes through, destroys things and then goes away, which is great. <laughs> so, so what I'm doing here, I just cut out some um, thicker paper. Um, I think it's a semi watercolor paper, that one, and uh, to use my Copic markers, because if I use it directly on that page, it will bleed through, or at least you will see it. it will be a lot of ghosting on, on the next page. Uh, I got these Copic markers in an R snack box. Actually, I'm having, I think I'm gonna stop my art um, uh, snack box uh, subscription. Let me know if you're interested to know more details why I'm stopping it or nothing bad, nothing about like the actual um, box. It's just like the way I feel about our boxes right now, like the surprises boxes, but that well, if, if you're interested, let me know and I'll do a whole video about it. Now I'm going to go on a tangent otherwise. <laughs> um, I was, I just want to say that like, I'm excited about finishing this um, notebook. I actually like fell behind a lot, but I sort of like went back and uh, catch up all the time. So I'm proud of myself for that. And as you can see, a lot of those drawings and doodles are not regarding the actual, not referring to the actual day, because a lot of days have been, uh, you know, a little, not boring, but like, you know, just work <laughs> and, um, and chill. So like, if there's nothing really uh, exciting or that I want to remember, uh, I just like, I either like look for something nice that I had that day or I just doodle, which is like, I think something that is working great for me. Like it doesn't have to be an epic day every day, right? Uh, so like I, I enjoy doodling. I enjoy like um, maybe documenting which supplies I'm using during that time, which is also a good thing. So I, I, I like to do that. I like to alternate this sort of doodle that you see here when I, I just like draw something that happened that day. So maybe we went to a, a restaurant. Yeah, we went to a restaurant with the dog that day. So I just did a, a quick doodle of the old street because you know that there's still tables for restaurants outside on the sidewalks or, or on the street because of, of COVID, even though now you can go inside. But um, yeah, so you see these two pages. One has stickers and where things on it to do those and the other one is like this old doodle of what happened that day so that's what i'm doing i'm alternating these sort of things here i'm sort of like um, trying to figure a way i have another to to combine writing and um doodling like i i have a separate journal for just writing like just a writing journal and I have another journal that it's like my sort of uh, stream of consciousness journal when, it, when I go more deeper, sorry, deeper without more. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to figure it out a way to combine. I still going to keep my like stream of consciousness journal. That's me that doesn't go. It's a journal that doesn't go on videos. It's just like a, a thing that happens off camera and I want to keep that. But I want to sort of combine. I want to put more writing in this memory keeping journal just to describe more what's happening 
and so i'm gonna see how it goes because i do like this version a lot when it's like it's very simple just do also what happens and move on so i'll see how it goes and figure that out like how to combine it i'm, I'm, I'm there's a video coming up of this how i set up the second half of the obonichi avec it's original so it's tiny it's an a6 um, which is good for me because it's small it's a small space to fill in so there's not the pressure of fill in an a5 page which believe it or not for me it's too much too much to keep up because i do have an art journal which is a journal about art where i just like know things that um are happening in uh, in my art journey so if i'm using more watercolors if i'm using this other supply if i'm drawing a lot of uh, um, mermaid i use that journal and that's an a5 and it's a great i, I love that so you know there's a lot going on and i'm trying to like combine things because i feel like when there's too much to cover in one day i will fall behind more easily than if i have just one thing to fill in every day i also have my five years journal so it's like it's it's a lot to do at the same time and sometimes you know you, you're, you're just not in the right state of mind to do all that in one day it's doable because it's tiny space but you know you know what it is life <laughs> sometimes some days you're great you want to do the whole day some other days you don't want to do anything and it's okay so yeah uh, th this monster that is coming here is supposed to be a tiny floating fat flamingo uh we went with some friends to this place that was doing rosé festival or something something i don't know they had like supposedly they had some it was like a happy hour or something or a, a team drinks thing and they will give this floating tiny floating flamingos and in the middle they will uh, put the they will place the drink so it was just an old joke with my friends about this thing that like you could bring home but also like what are you gonna do with it um so nothing it's just an internal joke but it was funny uh but it, this is also an example of like how i figure it out i kept like adding layers to this thing because at the beginning the watercolor went all over i just put too much water i think um and uh, the watercolor went way over the lines of the drawings so i tried to like go over it with other supplies until um, it came out a little more um uh it wasn't like looking like a monster <laughs> but yeah uh and of course like stickers uh, i use this these stickers are from uh, um the monster co um coffee monster co um i have a bunch of stickers uh, from from her shop that i used a lot when i uh, used to do bullet journals but now i'm like not using them much but i still have them so i want to try to figure out a way to use it um and yeah those were the colors still a monster but you know but th th the point was like that whenever you have something in your journal that doesn't work out it's okay it doesn't have to be a big deal you could cover it up always if you hate it but uh you know it happens because it has to be to me a list and a, a journal like a memory keeping journal that it's pretty much just for me to to go through and remember things it doesn't have to be perfect it, it makes it, we don't need perfection perfection in this in this moment you know um and here the cat again destroying everything i apologize for this <laughs> and um so like uh, yeah it, even like the way i'm doodling um i'm going very loose i like this the sketchy look of of this uh i don't mind it and i think it's appropriate again for this sort of journal uh when it's something that is very personal and it's fun it, it's just meant to be fun and enjoyable to do it to go through it when you do it when you do it and then when you go back and you just look at what happened in the past you know what i mean it doesn't have to be like this per perfect thing maybe you can have another sketchbook for perfect drawings or something um i like to have um here i'm just trying watercolor because i'm not patient and i didn't <laughs> i didn't dry it enough so i got all stopped uh yeah that's a short sad story <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm going here and there. I don't really have a plan for <laughs> for this chat. I hope you enjoyed this sort of thing. 
I usually like it when people just talk. Um, it's like it feels like being I don't know hanging out together with some friends, you know, and just talk. But let me know if it's annoying. <laughs> um, this is the palette that I'm working on. Um, it's already all messed up uh, and I, I i think i'm gonna change it to a larger one but these are the colors that i'm using a lot more um of course they're all watercolors uh, from different brands and um i'm probably gonna do a video about it because i want to go over it and, and um, like explain why i'm using what right now they're like grouped by brand basically um which makes sense to me to my brain uh, but i know that like people usually order the palettes for uh, by color like all the yellows all the blue all the greens all the reds and so on uh, which i think makes sense so i want to try that too the order and see if works for me too but you know as usual you need to do what you need to do to <laughs> to figure uh, i mean look at this color sorry <laughs> to figure what works for you. This color, it's a copper color, it's called, it's called uh, co uh, Copper Candle, I believe. It's from Rachel Beth. I got it to try it out because I heard on, on YouTube, I think, who was it? I think James Burke also mentioned it, but other people too, um, they mentioned Rachel Beth and, and her watercolors that are like very nice. And I was looking for a color that was like, um, gold or copper or silver something to use to, to shine to, for highlights and i'm just absolutely obsessed and in love with this color um and you don't see that well in camera right now but like when i move the page you see how shiny it is i love it it's great so here you know i'm documenting that i got these colors it's pretty much so that's what it is um and i did it by just do doing a doodle using those colors so that's the whole point of this journal pretty much it doesn't have to be oh you know today i went on top of the mountain and i achieved this great thing i just got watercolors and they were great and i'm using them so there's already a, a lot <laughs> my uh, dog got the first shot for our worm the poor thing she was sick but then she was fine so um I was so in love with her because she's a champ and I was so worried, but she made it through and I'm happy about it. And this, all these watches that you see is because I'm working a lot with watercolor. I mean, <laughs> you probably, you probably had a clue there. And um, I just like to do watches to figure it out how the watercolors work. So the more I use them, the more I understand how they work by themselves together if I mix them from different brands so you know how, how the old thing works so then I can use it in illustrations and and um, you know just just work and work practice and practice and figure things out so if you see this like very simple rest day uh, it's because that day I did I chose to do nothing because I needed to rest and so I just swatch colors here are more color, more stickers from uh, the Monster Co uh, Coffee Monster Co um, shop. Air stickers are super funny. I love them. Uh, again, I use them more when I, I did like um, what's that bullet journal and stuff like that. But uh, and I was like doodling less. So like now I will doodle a laundry machine or a, a little thing cleaning. But you know sometimes it's fun to use um stickers so i get them and i'm like why why just keep them there without using them and so i think it's cute to use stickers here and there uh, i usually use the um, the one that it's like a big book of stickers i love it it's the antiquarium one i think but the book the books one there's like a different kind and i think the new one it's coming up soon which um, i can't wait i think it's september but don't quote me on that anyway I love that book, the the stickers. So I I often use stickers, but a lot of times I forget about them. <laughs> I, for, I forget that I have them. So there's that. Um, this is about this whole thing is about like my brother being in town. We went to Juniors to have some um, um, some food. It was fun. Uh, well, here I had, I remember that I didn't do the I left that page, so I went back and I doodled it. Uh, again with that sort of like 
one line um, sketchy look which I'm liking a lot and this is just a doodle of what actually happened we were on the roof just having a drink hanging out with my brother uh, so like yeah it's it's always um, it is what it is see here I'm playing with that watercolor that is very dark um, and like trying to create a um, sunset uh, in a way that it's like pretty abstract but at the same time you know all these dots that I'm doing it's just me playing with watercolors to figure it out how they work and it's also fun like I do like that look I do like just colors and sort of well, look at this yellow how it blooms <laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> anyway sorry I'm, I, I probably sound like a psycho uh, this um, stickers are from the that antiquarium book I love it they're so random and beautiful uh, I put this like super random creepy kitten wearing a night gown or something <laughs> So, so, and this is the, believe it or not, this is the last page of this journal. I mean, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> because I am. Uh, I'm actually finishing journals, which never happened. So, I mean, something is changing, you know. And you are witnessing <laughs> my, journey to, uh, my journey towards finishing uh, journals, <laughs> if it makes sense. Um this next page uh, that I call thoughts, uh, I just want to write down something um, at one point, some sort of like thoughts about uh, the, this last six months, this journal, like whatever comes into mind. And this is the final flip through. I really hope you enjoyed this chatty, chatty, chatty video uh, with me just doodling things around. <laughs> um, I, please let me know in the comments if you like this sort of memory keeping. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have fun. I have fun doing it. I have fun looking at, it, at me doing it and sort of figuring out what actually what I'm doing. Um, there's going to be more, more of this. Uh, I hope you like them, but let me know if you need something different because you know, maybe I can adjust depending on um, You know can make any promise because I never follow up or sometimes I do we'll see the copper color Yay, <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day uh, Please if you feel down just doodle something grab some art supply and doodle something you'll feel better uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye guys.